This is Lauren from Squirrel. I want to give you a quick overview of the Squirrel Super Custom Pattern Designer. Um, to start off, you're going to go to the Squirrel webpage. Pick the suit you're going to want to see the pattern on. Let's do a freak today. Scroll down and click the Design Your Freak button. Um, under here, Design, you're going to have the option for Super Custer all, Custom All Over Pattern Print. Go ahead and select that. Make sure you read all of these caveats so that you're not disappointed when you get your suit and it's not something you expect. Okay, when you're done with that, click the OK Got It button. That'll launch the Super Custom Pattern Designer. So to start with, you'll see a bunch of pre-selected patterns. Each column is the same pattern, but with different colors and different scales. You can click and see that. So here's the camo pattern with different colors and sizes. Here's the stripe pattern, different color, different sizes. Um, we also have a bunch of pre-selected categories here for you. We have abstract chevrons to mass dots, all kind of options. If you want to see stars, click stars, and this will show you a bunch of pre-picked patterns with stars in them. Um, we're going to stick to the squirrel favorites today. And let's say I like this diamond pattern here with the pink, but I don't want my suit to be pink. So I can change the colors by clicking this button down here, and this will pop up your color editor. I can go ahead and change each color individually by selecting the color and altering the color over here on your palette. So let's say I want it to be green. I can pick each color, shift it to green, like so. That's one way to do it. The other way is to do a random shuffle, and this will just cycle through a bunch of random colors until you get something that you kind of like, and you can edit it from there. Another way to do it is to find a color scheme you like. I like this, but I want to shuffle the colors around a little bit so you can shuffle the colors from within the current palette. And that'll just move them around like so. The other way is if I find a color I like, I can save that color by picking the plus here, and that'll click it over to your Save Colors tab. So you can pick a palette you like and apply that to different patterns. You can also, say you find a palette you like, you can apply that palette to different patterns by checking this box here. So let's say I want to apply this to some other designs. I can click that box, close the window, let's say I want to see that on this pattern. So you see it'll keep that color palette with whatever pattern you select. So let's pop that back open. Another way to do the color selection is to get a color theme. Um, you can click the color theme generator tab here. Make sure you uncheck keep colors when changing pattern. You can either do the tab this way or select the button down here to pop open the color theme generator. So let's say I want mine to be green. I'm going to up the saturation and go ahead and click green. And that'll just generate random green palettes. Click refresh here. You can keep changing as many times as you like. Let's say that's all right. I want to see that. And close the window. Uh, let's say I actually didn't like this green. I want to go back. You have undo and redo down here in the lower left. So you can go back. Every change you make is saved. So you can cycle back through as many times as you want. Let's say I want to go back all the way to that original pink. I can do that if I'd like. Um, the other thing you can do here is scale the pattern. So if I want this to be really tiny diamonds, you can use the pattern size slider down here. If I want a camo, but I want it to be a finer camo like that, you can scale the pattern that way. Another thing you can do is save your favorite. So let's say you're mess messing around with the color pattern. Like I like this camo, and I want to save that for later, but I want to play with some other options. You just click this favorite button right here, and that saves it to your favorites palette, which is up here in the top left. So you can see here, I just saved this camo, and here's some other ones I've previously saved that I really like. And so you can recall those at any time. Um, so I've played with the color generator, and I've decided I really like this orange camo the best. So once you've decided, go ahead and hit Finalize Pattern. That'll pop you back to the order page. You can scroll down and select your Mylar color, zipper, stitching, and embroidery, or you can go back and edit the pattern if you'd like. I'm going to pick gray Mylar. I'm going to do orange stitching, and I'm going to leave the embroidery orange. 
I can also share this on Facebook if I want to share with my friends what I've been uh, playing with here in the pattern design. After you're done with that, input all of your normal measurements and order as usual. We hope you enjoy using our pattern designer as much as we have enjoyed designing it. So uh, thanks from Squirrel. Have a good one.